Welcome back to our On Shape tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a basic sketch. Um, and this assumes that you already have an On Shape account. So once you're logged into On Shape, on the left, you can see there's a Create button. We're going to hit Create and hit New Document. We're going to title this the Tetrix flat bracket, because that's what we're making. Um, and you want to make sure that your file names are descriptive enough so that you can use them in the future. And I'm going to hit OK, and we'll let the platform create the workspace for me. Now one of the first things you're going to notice when you open up the workspace in Onshape is that you have a series of tabs down here at the bottom. We want to make sure that we're in the parts studio. Assemblies are sort of higher level diagrams of bringing parts together and we're going to ignore that for the purpose of this video. Um, but it's very easy to sort of click over and then all of a sudden you're in the wrong design space and nothing's working. So make sure you're in the parts studio to begin with and if you want to you can right click on this, rename it to Tetrix flat bracket. So I'm just going to go T flat bracket. And that's just a reminder that that's the tab we want to be on. Over on the right hand side we have a little gizmo that allows us to manipulate our three-dimensional environment. So I can rotate this, I can click on the top front right, I can click on a side or a corner to get a quick perspective. I have some rotation arrows and there's a bunch of stuff up here in the, in the widget that I can use. Or I can just simply right click on my screen to rotate and I can use my middle mouse wheel to zoom, and um, I can use my left to create boxes for multi-select. Over here on the left, I have my feature list. We're gonna talk about that in the next video. And in the top up here, I have a range of different construction tools. All of these right now currently apply to taking a sketch and creating a 3D shape out of it. But if I actually create a sketch, this toolbar will switch over to allow me to draw. So what I'm going to do is recenter on my right hand um, plane. So this is my right plane. And if I um, rotate a little bit more, we'll talk really quick about these rectangles being planes on our three dimensional um, space with the X axis being um, in and out of the screen here. And then the Y axis is sort of left to right and the Z axis is up and down. And you can see that defined here on the widget as Z, Y and X, the blue, green and red. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the space. I will keep talking about these um, toolbars and spaces and tabs in, in uh, future videos, and I just want to use this as a quick intro so that you can get comfortable with how things work and where things are. So feel free to uh, finish up this video, move on to the next one, and we will start our sketch.